trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. The cash S&P folks are looking at it here today. There's low today was exactly to the tick, 382 of the low from January the 6th. So whether that means anything, don't know, just bring it to your attention. But let's do something fun here. If you remember from our show on yesterday, we were looking to buy some live cattle. If you remember... We were waiting for them to uh, pull back to the 382, and there was the 382, and there was the low. Uh, we bought it here at 60. We risked one penny. The stop would have been right here, and as you can see, it's made two cents right now, which is pretty good. But, folks, I want to show you a market that we have not looked at uh, on this program, and I haven't traded it for 50 years. But just to prove to you a point, I want to show you – hot chocolate folks or candy bars whatever you want to look at this is the cocoa market and then this is a long term now look at this folks from the low that we made here on march 11th look at this to the exact tick just like we did in the s p will that happen to the s p today i don't know it has a slight chance and the chance is pretty good actually but we're going to look at that as we go through so keep in mind when you see these sometimes they work sometimes they don't that's the bottom line of what we're looking at. All right, now the start of the show, uh, talking about Larry Williams's forecast, this one right here, that's what we're looking at. What we wanna do now is we're gonna spend some time looking at our good friends. First of all, we're gonna start with the, uh, you know, I should do the rest of the, I wanna do the bonds first and then we'll go back to it. Here's the bonds, okay, here, this is the ones that we've been waiting for on the daily, okay? We are there right now, boys and girls, Hey, you can see it. Uh, we thought we would be buyer here at 113.25. Uh, uh, that's where we bought it. It's trading at 113.26. The low has been 113.09. Our stop is at, we're risking 20 points on that. So our stop would be 113.05. So if it gets stopped out, it's a failed pattern and you move on to the next one. That's all you can really do. Okay, now, just for kicks and giggles here, I'm just going to bring out my AI program. And see, I haven't looked at this today, folks. I just want to see what it's doing. Ah, it says it's going to close strong. Now, you can see that it's been following relatively well. It looks like it's backing off a little bit, but it says it's going to close up. Whether that means anything, I'm not sure. But you know what? Nobody else is either. All right, now let's take a look here at the TLT. Okay, now TLT is the inverse of the, of the bonds. In other words, this is the, uh, hold on, this is just like the Treasury bond. It's the ETF for the bond and it's you can see this is where we are going back now there's there's the pattern that we're looking at the same pattern now this is the one that comes in with the uh, treasury bonds so here we are with the etf now it's at the 71 percent retracement we're probably pretty close to that also but you can see it's doing the same type of thing now right now it looks like that this is uh just get down to a small time frame here looks like it's up on the day so far i don't know if that's right or not yeah no, it was down and then it's messing around, but it's the same pattern that we're looking at. So this is just the ETF for it. Now, what we should do, and we will do, we're going to look at something that you probably have never seen before. Remember how Google changed its name to the alphabet? Well, we have two. We're going to call this the A, and this the B, and this the C, and bada bing, bada boom. If you can't buy that, you move to another planet. This is about as easy as it gets, folks. Now, we're going to do one other thing, just for kicks and giggles, as Gan would talk about. The time down from the high down to the low took 91 trading days. Now, if this is true and it's perfect, it would be high to the low would be 91 trading days. And just looking at this, I can tell you that that's not right. 91 trading days on this does not come out 
until the 29th of April. Now, I don't use time and uh, time and price. I'm a price trader, folks. That's what I do. I'm looking at swings in between, and this is what I'll be watching here on this TLT. And I, folks, I have never traded a TLT. I'm just looking at the small swings on a daily basis. Okay, so we're going to walk through them just to show you how the old alphabet boys do work. There's A, B right here. Whoopsie daisy. There's your A, B, C, D. There's your first one right there, okay? Then you've got another one right behind it. That's this one right here, A, B, C, D. And you've got another one behind that. And you see how they just keep to the final one that we have right here, A, B, C, D. This is it. It either stops here. Or she's going to go down a whole lot lower. So make sure you have a stop in on that treasury bond, boys and girls. Because if it doesn't work, and if it doesn't work, you can't blame me. You blame Larry Williams. He lives in the, he lives in the Caribbean. His phone number, it's that international number, uh, area code or country code on that is uh, 34. And his uh, phone number is 850 and 1728 that's triple four one seven two eight area code eighty five, and he'll be able to complain to him and tell him that you had uh, heard me on my show and I said that it was an infallible trade and Larry's never lose lost in his whole life, and Larry will get very angry about that. But anyway, folks, put your stop in. You know that's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, you got to do that. If you don't, you know, get another job because that's pretty much it. Now, I have to show you another one. Holy moly, guacamole, there's calls coming in from everywhere. Hold on here. Oh, <laughs> someone said they thought the number was 867-5309. Uh, believe it or not, boys and girls, I make all these numbers up. <laughs> I wouldn't give you Larry's home phone number if you paid. Well, if you paid me, I probably would. Let's get back to some of this other stuff that we're, we're starting to weaken again here uh, in the stock market. The key to, to, to watch here, folks. And, well, let's do it the real way because this is where the battle's being played. And this is my opinion, okay? This is the Dow Jones, okay? And I'm going to get this up here. Really super important. Do you remember yesterday I said, don't be concerned. You'll be able to get a 382 rally. Look at that. There was yesterday's low, okay, late, late at night, okay, around, around 11 o'clock at night. And the market rallied to a 382. Do you see that? We had a rally here. This one went to the 618, but if you look at this thing all the way down, we've had these rallies. Okay, so there was the rally today. Let me see if we can put these all in together. Yeah, see, so there's your 382 off of this high right here, came in right there. Okay, there's your 50% retracement. If we take the 382 off of this one, it puts you right on the money to the tick here. 5281, we're now 150 handles lower. But as the Dow Jones and NASDAQ have made new lows. This has held up pretty well. And the reason why I'm saying that, folks, I base everything, everything on the fact that we are over 0.382 on the cash index, the S&P futures, and that's what's really super, super important. So this is, look at this, you have a two-day rally. This is a one-day rally. You know, we could, the fact that it's held up is good, but we're going to take a time out here, and we got about another eight minutes of fun, and then we have Mike Moore of More Analytics. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Folks, I posted the Russell here. That's the Russell 2000 small cap. Now, folks, there's the 78% retracement right here from the uh, low that we made in January. Remember where we are right now? We're at the 78% level, okay? On the S&P, okay, we're at the 382 level. Remember, we already showed you that one. That was a cash S&P move, all right? This one's at the 78% level, all right? Very, very important. Look at this, folks. You see this correction right here? You see that? I mean, it's not a perfect ABC, but look how close that correction is. This is what Andrew Lowe covered in his book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street. Okay? That's basically what you're looking at. Now, just looking at this chart, just for kicks and giggles, say, well, Larry, what else could this possibly be? Well, what do I always talk about? Yes, you're right, Johnny. Put that 382 card down or I'm going to send you to the principal. From your low here to your high here, there's your 382 again, right there. It even covers it up. Look at this. It's to the exact tick. Here's where we are. And look at this thing's rallying. Watch. Let's just get this up here and take a look at it. I think it's rallying right now. It is. See, it's starting to go higher. So this is telling us that something's, uh, it's got a chance. Folks, I haven't been long for 14 days. I bought the, I bought the Dow Jones today at, uh, well, it's okay. Anyway, let's move on here to another one that we want to pay, take a very close look at uh, here. There's a, there's the Dow Jones. I'll show you what I did this morning in the Dow Jones, okay? Just to give you a – this is the kind of stuff that we cover. Now, this is this is an eight-minute chart. Now, we had this big run-up. You see here? We had this big run-up last night, okay? I mean, this really – when I came in and saw – see, I was looking at the ABCD and the S&P that stopped here at uh, 5120, Okay? This one went all the way up to here. So the first thing I did is I go to my hourly chart and see what it did. Oh, it's made 382. See, all it's doing is coming down. It, here, you remember the pattern that we were looking at here in the Dow Jones? Let's just see how close we came to that low. Okay, there's your AB leg. There's your CD leg uh, right here. 3788. Okay, all right. <laughs> Not bad, right? Okay, so 3788 right there in the market at bottom that started. So I bought that pullback right here and I got my stop in. I don't know if the damn thing's going to work, but it's got a chance. That's the only thing I'm saying. It's got a chance. Now let's look at the daily of it just to be safe. 
I don't think it has the, the beautiful symmetry. I don't see we're going to go back to that January low, which was right here. See, we've already, as, as the Russell has made a 78.6, we're almost through that. You see that? So now the Dow, the Dow is trying to tell us that, yeah, it's got a chance. And that's only because it's, it's the one that's leading the pack right now. You see, here's so far, here's the action today. There was my buy right there, okay? There you got the pull-up. There's your 61% retracement right here, and this is all we've done. So I have my stop right below here. Folks, the key here is this. If this market closes below uh, that low we made in the S&P, which was 50.82, I believe, then look out. You do not want to be – let's just get up together and take a look at it. I'll give you my uh, – Two cents worth, and if you overpay for that, it's your own fault. Okay, there's the 382. You see on the cash, we went a little bit below it. Now, the futures hit it exactly, but the cash went a little bit below it. Closing below this low, which is uh, 5080. 5080, folks, I'm going to write this down. You just do not want to be anywhere near this thing if it closes below 5080. That's my two cents worth. Okay. And like I said, Johnny's got his nickel up there. He's re he's ready to pay 150% premium. All right. And those are the ones of the stock market that are ready to go. Now, let me move up here to the gold market because we have had some really big action going here in gold. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I got to love this business. Hold on. Here's where we were this morning. I have to show you this now, boys and girls, because this is what I was looking at. Okay, now here was the low yesterday here in gold. Then we rallied up. You remember this was the 61% retracement, okay? Now, here's where we were. You, you see this little ABCD pattern right here? I was watching that for potential buy right there, okay? Unfortunately, <laughs> I missed it. I was trying to buy the 61% retracement down here at uh, 2390 and it only got to 2393 then it has the ABCD structure to the upside and now we've rolled over just a little bit here really not doing very much but let's look at it on the long term hourly chart you can see we already went back and touched that 61% retracement again that we hit once before and there it is right there now the high today has been I believe uh, 2415, we're at 2406 right now, so it could go either way uh, from this level without uh, any trouble at all. So that's the gold market. <clears throat> and then we need to talk just a little bit about the, uh, hold on one second here. Uh, oh, let me get rid of that one. I don't want to, I don't want to do May beans. I want to do November beans. Oh, do crude oil next because we always have a question about crude oil here again. I've discovered this thing just today. I just realized that, my goodness, maybe there's this alphabetic pattern that we look at, boys and girls. A blind man can see this A, B, C, D right there. All right. Now, it's only $600 lower than it was, but it looks like it's still got a chance. You'd be in a risk-free trade had you been doing this trade. There's your A, B leg right here. Now, this took two hours, a little more than that. Oh, come on. It didn't draw it right. Hold on. Uh, well, you wouldn't have been filled on this one because we were looking for it to come into 85.82. It only got to 85.73, but that was probably really near a – ah, shucks. Hold on one second. Wow, this time is going so fast here today. It went a little above the 61% retracement. Actually, I didn't do this trade. I'm glad I looked at it because I wouldn't have been filled. I would have been selling right there where the ABCD is, but it didn't fill it, so it started to back off. So that was a non-event. And if you're waiting for that, you miss that train, you have to wait. But if you're looking at the ABCD, then that's what you that's what you literally have to do. Okay? All right. Make sure the last one here is this one here, and I've gotten a lot of calls about this because this market trying to make a bottom but it doesn't want to now this is the long-term picture on the euro excuse me the uh, 60 minute we go down to the daily you see we're still we still this dark one right here this is this dark pattern right here that has been there that's where we're trading just a tiny bit above that right now that's why if it fails it's probably going to go down but right now it is holding we made a lower low last night and it is trying to hold so 
those are the ones I'm looking at. If we take a quick look at the dollar index, you're going to see the, the same thing in reverse. Hold on right here, dollar index. See, dollar index has made a higher yet. We're heading up to this level. I've uh, got another 50 pips to go. Looks like that to me. So I would, uh, I think the euro is probably going to go even lower. So uh, no sense trying to pick a bottom in that one. The other one, the other one was that Japanese yen. But I think we're running out of time here to show that one. But I'll try to squeeze it in. If not, we'll cover it if we have time uh, tomorrow. But let's take a break here. We got Mike Moore coming up. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. We're back, folks, and I think we have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics in the house today. Mike, how are you doing today, my friend? Hi, Larry. How are you? 
Thank you very oh, much. I just live. I appreciate it. Oh, it's it's our pleasure. We like to hear what you have to say, and let's tell us what's going on in the oil markets. All right. Can you see my screen? <clears throat> yes, sir. Okay. So you want me to start off with natural gas or oil? Uh, let's uh, well, but you, uh, let's start with natural gas, and uh, then yeah. the next thing we want to do is we, we do oil, gasoline. And uh, our Bob, or our Bob, and then also the heating oil, and, and tell us what your what your opinion is with the news out there and everything. We'd like to know what you're thinking. Sounds good. So let's so start out with gas, Mike. Uh, we were bullish in here, and then uh, I think in the last show I'd, we just turned bearish below when we fell back below this uh, 190 even level. We've been seeing the pressure worn about from below there, and then again here. So it said the trade below. Um, well, we held the, sorry, the break back below 190, even more under pressure. We'd seen 220 ticks coming into this morning, and then obviously a little bit more here. Then the trade below 178.70, further projects are slower. We'd seen 109 ticks of that going into today. So we are in <clears throat> some, the lowest lows of quite a while, just to show you on a higher time frame on a daily chart. So we're really, really pinned down here. <clears throat> um, and then on a weekly chart, you know, we have in, you know, we've hit, in previous contracts, we had lower lows, but um, we're approaching uh, those levels too. These low, low levels back here in, in, in March of 2020, they were down in the 151 area, 151.90, 151.70. So, and prior to that, it's been quite a while since we've seen those lows. So, volatility is still low in there. If we were to come back up through these lows, we might see some short covering again. But I just think this market still needs form. I'm still bearish. I'd stay bearish. This trend line doesn't mean anything right now, so don't pay attention to this right now. That was if it held. Um, but if we start trading back up into these areas here, we might see some short covering back up in here. But we'll keep an eye on it. We do have a trend coming down here. If we were to take that out on the upside, then that would project this upward. But we'd have to make quite a bit of movement to get up there uh, to take that out. And the crude oil <clears throat> uh, turned bullish last night. It's kind of a smorgasbord of uh, different trend lines coming in here. So I'm sorry if that looks messy. Uh, they eat, they each mean something, though. And the fact that we broke back above these two yesterday right in here uh, turned this to bullish again. So we rallied back up, held this formation, and rolled over and holding these ones now. I still think this is poised for short covering. So if we take out this formation right up above, that should add to that. You could get long above there. That comes in at 85.93. Minus okay, Mike, can you can you tell that was the price I wanted to ask you about that one of our you said if we get above 85.93 that is the uh, yeah. a, de uh, a decent a decent break above 85.93 so decent. you mean about above 8600 somewhere um, today a decent penetration would be 68 ticks not that you got to get long there at 68 ticks, but 68 ticks above it would confirm the long bias. You could buy it on a pullback. Mm -hmm. um, and then, again, also once we get along this above this more longer-term line, that would also warn of a run back for these highs again. And that upper line comes in at 86.12. That's the number. Okay, thank you very much. That's uh, Someone asked a specific number, so he has his answer. So let's keep going. And by the way, this is a point of uh, – interest uh, on Friday's post-market um, podcast that I sent out, the market settled here at 85.66. And I said that the part, the market was poised to come in lower and sell off a Monday, barring any bullish news. And most people, most, most analysts, you know, people would think would never put out, say something like that on a Friday when Israel is literally going to war, to war with Iran um, but again, this just goes to show you one of the reasons why I feel like in, in the technical disciplines themselves, they're already giving you a picture of what the fundamentals are behind them. And sure enough, we came in lower and uh, came off a bit for that day. So just, just a point of interest. 
Anyway, the RBOB left a minor bearish reversal above up here, came off. But then I said yesterday at the, on the close there, even though we left that up there, we should probably see some higher trade before rolling back over if we're going to see that up into the gap. And we're seeing that here today. Um, and then this is also broken above this line here. So currently right now, this is actually bullish again. If we were to roll over and take out either of these formations below, those were born of pressure. The upper of those formations comes in at 276.29 as of 1 o'clock p.m. And increase by 26 per hour. These can break below there, would be 186 today. The lower line comes in at 274.86. Plus one point ticks per hour starting at one o'clock PM. That would project this downward too. And the amount that it would project this downward would be um, give me a second here. It'd be seven cents minimum, twelve cents plus maximum. And if if anybody's wondering what twelve cents in the R Bob would mean in crude oil terms, you just do 1,200 times 0.42, and that will give you an idea. That would mean $5.04 in crude oil terms, meaning if you're used to just trading crude and you don't really know what the dollar figures are in the RBOB, it would be the equivalent of a $5 crude move to the downside or $5,000 per lot on the uh, maximum expectations there. And the heating oil... We left the gap open lower. We're still below that. And we had broken back out and down below this line, which turned this uh, bearish again. If we take out this formation right here, that should bring in additional pressure. That's going to come in at 262.31. I'm not going over a lot of these bigger projections right now. I'm just going over the immediate, the immediate stuff. Um, what did I say there? 262. 262.31 plus one tick per hour starting at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And a decent break below there would be 205 ticks today. Stay with us, Mike. we got to pay a few bills. We'll be back with Mike Moore of More Analytics, folks. Very good. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. 
Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds for both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. We're back, folks, with Mike Moore and more analytics. And uh, while we were uh, off the air, folks, there must have been some type of an announcement because the S&P went down and took out the low of the day and has rallied 20 handles. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Please continue, Mike. <clears throat> All right. So we left off in the heating oil. And I was just saying that a decent break below this line below, that comes in at 262.31, plus one tick per hour starting at 1 o'clock p.m. should bring in decent pressure. Likewise, if we break below there decently and back up through it decently, that will want a decent shore covering. Decent meaning likely a multiple day move. And the Brent... Also left a minor bearish reversal above yesterday. And we're just sort of chopping sideways here. If we break below both of these formations, this should come off, especially this lower formation. That comes in at 88.72 plus 0.5 of a tick per hour starting at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and if we take out... 90.39 decently, that'll negate the minor bearish reversal above. So we got a kind of a juxtaposition here in the crude and the Brent and the products. And finally, you have the gas oil uh, left the maintain gap lower yesterday in a minor bearish reversal above. And that is rolled over here. If we take out this lower formation that comes in at 805.30, plus four per hour starting at six o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's going to warn of decent pressure, which could be substantial. That could be, uh, you know, around $65. And that would be a good fade, too. If we break below there and back above it, that would be, I uh, would look for decent short covering to come in. You have any questions on the energies? You want me to jump to the S&P? Let's uh, let have, uh, we have a question about the Brent. If you could follow that, I don't follow the Brent, and the gentleman's asking to take a look at the Brent. Now that's that's the premium, isn't it? The uh, we just we just took a look at the Brent here, but we can look again. Yep. Oh, I, you already covered it, so don't worry about it. Yep. Go on to go. On, let's go on to the let's do the Brent again because I I, I right. evidently I misinterpreted it. So let's do it again, please. It's all right. Um, the Brent, I said. We left a minor bearish reversal above yesterday. It would have to be a decent break above 9039 to negate that. If we take out this formation below here, both of these, that will want to pressure. The lower of the one is probably the more significant. That comes in at 88.72 plus 0.5 of a tick per hour starting at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, a failure below there could bring in a $4 sell-off. Um, okay. could, could perpetuate more than that. Okay, I want a question for one of our listeners, and that is, uh, do you use any 
uh, news information, fundamental information, or everything you do is technical? That's the question. Everything is technical. Period. Technical. Yep. Okay. So the, that's all. The, the, the technicals will get you in on a move 90% of the time earlier than the fundamentals will paint that picture for you. And they will also get you out of that move earlier than the fundamentals will tell you to get out of that move with the okay. exception of news-based events. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you have, you know, a bombing at a facility or whatever, that's going to toss all the technicals out the window um, to a degree nearby because you have a major news-based event. Okay. That makes good sense. Yeah. So, um, and one other caveat there too, I would also say that the, Technicals will often paint a very opposite picture than you would think that the fundamentals are telling you. <laughs> and they're right 90% of the time. Okay. <clears throat> um, we're going to go to the S&P, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of interest in that one, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. So the S&P, this is a little bit delayed here, but um, let me just pull this up. We have been bearish since holding exhaustion up here. We came shy of it within two ticks at 53.3350. And as you may remember, that was, we were likely in the last stage. Actually, that's not the right chart. Let me use a, I've been saying for a while that we're likely in the last stage of this entire move up from Actually, maybe it's just easier to use this from the 3502 area. So we held that exhaustion up above. We also failed below this this major formation up in here. That came in at uh, 5301 and a quarter. We come off 220 points from there, and then the failure back below 5234 it's brought in 152.75 of pressure. And one thing I would just note in this in this rollover here, <clears throat> just to uh, you know the blind investors out there that say, oh, you should always buy on a dip. Mm -hmm. well, this tight structure, you're buying on dips here, means one thing because you're in an upward trending market, right? But here you've taken out this tight trend, and now this is trending lower, right? You have lower highs lower lows consistently as opposed to here you're having higher lows higher highs right so you have to take those things you have to be aware of what what trend the market's in before you just blindly buy dips because somebody said it sold off of it and then of course that has to do on the perspective of what what time frame you're also trading and how big the dips are what you're looking to buy against so anyway, short term here, this has wiped out this bullish trend on a, in a, on a lower time frame basis. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been rolling over. Now, one other thing I would say is there is a formation up above. I said if we get above that, we bring in higher trade, but we're quite a ways away from it. And that comes in at... Fifty-one eighty-four seventy-four. It's one hundred per hour, starting at one o'clock, uh, one thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. Let me just check one more thing here before we jump over to gold. If this was to leave a maintained gap lower tomorrow, that would leave a significant bearish reversal above that should bring in selling for days, slash weeks, even months. Meaning that if the high of the intro, if the high of the quote pit session tomorrow or the 9:30 to whatever session was lower than the previous day's low, then that would warrant of a major sell-off. Okay, and okay. then go to the gold. Yeah, Mike, we're going to finish gold when you come back from our break. Okay, we have to pay Thank a you. few bills here. Yep. We'll be back with Mike Moore with gold. Just a few minutes, folks. Stay tuned. Tomorrow, Stan Harley.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. We're back with Mike Moore of Moore Analytics, and we're talking about the yellow metal, gold. What are you looking at, Mike? Sounds good. Well, bullish in the gold right now. Um, it said here this morning that trade above 2373.30 warrants a decent strength. And um, I'm sorry, let me go over here. We were bullish up in here. We got bearish on the break below this formation, bearish again below here, bearish below here, and then we just turned bullish on the break back above this formation. So we popped up here, pulled up to it again, and then rallied. If we can take this formation out above, that should warrant a further strength. That's going to come in at, sorry, I thought I had this line already set up for a presentation. That should come in at 24.3870 <clears throat> plus four per hour, starting at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, decent penetration in there is going to be $18 today. If we were to roll over and take out this formation, that would be bearish. That's going to come in at 2356.90 plus 1.3 per hour, starting at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mike, could you tell the folks how they can reach you, please? We've got about 58 seconds left, so yes, sir. what's the best put it, way? Put it right up on the, uh, on the website here. Hang on a second.
I thought I had it up. Sorry. Oh, well, let's uh, let's give him your right here, website. Here we yeah. yeah. Okay. There you go. Moreanalytics.com. That's pretty easy. M O O R Analytics.com. And the phone number is 646 708 4612. Mike, we're going to have you on again soon, buddy. So keep your work up. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you. We'll be back tomorrow, folks. Our guest will be none other than Stan Harley. So may God bless. Thank you.